I want to ask you, what does it mean to you being a self-similar solution? So let's say, uh, of, this is a wall. I have a boundary layer profile. So this is y, this is uh, velocity, this is, uh, uh, this is, let's say, u as a function of y. And at another location, I have another velocity profile. What does it mean by the uh, the solution being self-similar? Uh, if you scale, how do you scale it in mathematics? So let's say at this point, I have a u as a function of x and y. Okay. How do you scale it? so that I can get to the exact same form as I have uh, at another x prime, let's say. Well, let's say this is at, this is over delta x, right? So this is, um, this is u of x plus delta x and y. What does it mean by scaling them so that they are the same? Uh, scaling in y by dividing it by boundary layer Okay, divide by boundary layer thickness. That's good. So what you're saying is that if you take this function, okay, uh, divide this by something, right? Divide y by something, let's say a factor a. You should get exactly u, x, and y, right? So that's, that's a self-similarity uh, in the in the y direction. You can also pose a self-similar uh, solution. So, so another, another uh, axis of self-similarity is in the u itself, right? So, so this, after you scale the y, you may also think of scaling the u itself, right? So maybe this is equal to b times u of x and y. Right, so these are the two things you can impose to uh, to say I have a self similar solution. All right, now let's say you have a constraint like that. I'm trying to find solutions where there exist such a and b. That for every delta x, I can do this kind of uh, a and b scaling so that I get the same solution as my solution u at position x.